Got the toys back with another video, and today we're just going to be doing another um, unboxing of my geeky goodies. As you guys have known, um, last month I had told you that I had actually canceled my subscription to my geeky goodies, but what happened was I wasn't in time for the cancellation, so they are going to send me a couple more boxes before I finally am not going to get any more of my geeky goodies. But this is the box you've all seen before, and it's really cool. So. Let's see what's in the box. Sorry if I'm really low. I'm just trying to be quiet right now. But So, let's see. Looks like there is a shirt, I think. So, Oops. As you guys can tell, it always has the blue and red uh, tissue paper. So, that's cool. Ooh, this one looks super good this month, guys. Super awesome. Oh, my word. So this month's theme is Monster Apocalypse. That's super cool, guys. I don't want to look at this because I'll show me exactly what everything is. But... So here's what the pin looks like, guys. It just says Monster Apocalypse. So that's really cool. Looks like everything's monster themed. Again... I got something from Tea Makers, so that's who makes the shirts and everything, so that's super awesome. And so many good stuff. So let's start off with this. Oh, Dino Tracker. So these are just like tops or toppers things. Let's see what this is. Sorry guys, my nose is bothering me, but for all the sniffles, but let's see what this is. Whoa, these are a little hard to get out of. Oh, so these are just like the same thing I got in one of the boxes a couple months ago with the Mario stuff. So I'm not going to open these right now, but we did get these. So that's really cool. Then we did get, ooh, a pack of zombie cards. So you guys can see what the front is. I'm not going to open these either. This is just going to be a quick unboxing of everything I got. I will open some of the stuff up, maybe. Ooh, and we got one of the Walking Dead series, AMC series vinyl mystery figures of series three i'm not sure if i'm gonna open this one or give it to my fiance actually um so we'll see on this one i might have him open it up because he's more of a walking dead fan than me but i think i'm gonna have him open that we'll see what i do with it and we got i will i don't know i'll show you the shirt one thing about my geeky goodies i find very interesting about their shirts is they're very brightly colored they're not colors i normally would wear so let's see what this one says Ooh, it says the monster from another planet, Zebby's attack. This is a pretty cool shirt, guys. So this is what the shirt looks like. I think it's really cool looking. That's awesome. So, it's pretty cool. I actually didn't get the shirt in my size. It's more of my uh, fiancé size, so that's cool. And we got, ooh, this is really, really cool, guys. I think this is my favorite thing in the whole entire thing. It's called Chuhulhu. I don't know how to pronounce this guy. Sorry. Maybe somebody can pronounce this right for me. But this is really cool. It came with this pop. I think this pop is awesome. It says, the monster lies death but dreaming in the city of Rithan, a place of non Euclidean madness. Presently presently and mercifully, sunken below the deeps of the Pacific Ocean, in he wants to return. Collect the entire line of Funko Pop books, super stylized vinyl figures. That's really cool, guys. So this is what it looks like and everything. So I will do a quick um, unbox. Well, maybe I'll save this one for a review, guys. I just want to do a quick unboxing of everything I got from my geeky goodies this month. So, I will have to say that even though I wasn't impressed with last month or the month before that with my Geeky Goodies, I'm really, really impressed with this month's My Geeky Goodies. I think it's one of the better ones so far for this year. It was called Monster Apocalypse. And if you guys haven't checked out My Geeky Goodies, definitely check them out. To me, they are a hit and miss with My Geeky Goodies. So, if you guys do really want to get this box, I'd say uh, check every month or check their website frequently and see what the theme of the box is and if you like the name of the theme then go ahead and get the box that's how i would do it from now on i'd keep checking and to see if i want to get that box or not so i'm still 
Right now, if this was one of my first boxes I have gotten for this year, I would say I'd keep going with my geeky goodies. I think they stepped it up on this month. I think the pop alone is super, super awesome. I'm probably one you can get anywhere, and not exclusive or nothing, but still, a pop like this that I normally would not buy myself, but I think it's really cool to add to my collection. It's pretty cool. I really like the Series 3 vinyl um, Walking Dead figure. Um... But, you know, I kind of want to open them up, but I kind of want to save it for my fiancé, so it's kind of hard. I don't know what to do, guys. Uh, just, you know, those dilemmas in life. <laughs> not really a dilemma, just something I'm not sure. I think I'll save it just because his birthday's coming up and stuff, so I think I will save this for him to open up and just as a little treat and stuff. So I think that's cool. And then I think these cards are really cool. They're just your basic old bicycle cards, but they're zombie themed, so that's really cool if you're into zombies. And again, here's a shirt. I think the shirt was really, really cool. I like the way it looked and I like what it says and how it is. It just says, the mother from another planet, zombie attack. So that's really, really cool, guys. So that's a cool little t-shirt. And finally, you got the dinos attack. So that's really cool. So let's just take a look at and read what everything was in the box and then I'll let you know my, ov well, I let you already know my overall thoughts, but it says, my geeky goodies. Look, lock your doors, board up the windows, the monster pox has arrived. So you got the Funko Pop right here, so that's really, really cool. Then you got, again, as I showed you, the Zebby's Attack t-shirt by Tea Makers. Then you got the Walking Dead Series 3 Mystery Funko. Then you got the Vintage 1988 Dinosaurs Attack Trading Cards by Troops. Just don't eat the gum, it's 27 years old, wow guys. And then you just got the Zombie... Playing cards by bicycle, so that's really cool. Well, since I'm really not going to open much in this box, and I wasn't planning on um, even doing this box and showing you what was inside, I'll open one of these just to show you what they look like. So, again, don't eat the gum, as it says. Ugh, gross. Ugh, it's like really hard gum. So they're just little, like, ooh, they're cool. They're like dinosaur cards. Those are really cool, and they're kind of like, so there's one of them. Just show you one back. Here's another dinosaur card. And I like the back because it has like backs and stuff about them. So that's really cool. And then here's another card. That's really cool. And this card. And then this one. And I also got this card. And the back is this card. And I got this as well. So that's really cool. So that's what they look like. I think the cards, I really, really like the cards in this box. I think that was super amazing to get those. I think the Funko Pop is a great value. I've just seen these out recently, so those are really cool. I think the thing that really made this box was both, well, three things. I think the t-shirt was one of my favorites. This pop absolutely is my favorite. And please, down below, tell me how to say this name. I don't want to botch it up. I'm not a, you know, and a... a I'm not really into the apocalypse and things like that, but that's really cool. And then, sorry guys, I had to come back and start the video over again, but that's why I'm wearing my glasses. So again, I'm not really into, um, so I think this box is really cool and everything, and I really like, again, that it came with this, uh, this mystery mini, so that's really cool, and the cards are really awesome. So overall, my thoughts on this box is, I think it's a cool box for this month. Sorry that I'm not really doing a review on much in this box. I wasn't even planning on showing you this box. I thought that when I canceled it, I wasn't going to be getting even the March box. But I did get the March box, and I think I am getting the April box as well. So... I'm sorry about that guys, sorry about the choppiness of the video, I just really wanted to get this out for you super quick and um, I'll show on my Instagram what figure I did get from this, so stay tuned for that, I'll just show a picture of this and things like that. But there are, here are all the different ones you can collect from the Walking Dead series and this and that and so I think it's really cool and just something fun that I'll have a fun time opening this. Um, I don't watch The Walking Dead, but I do think the characters and things are pretty darn cool. And I know my fiancé will really love this. And, you know, I I feel like I want to give it to him. So that's why I'm not going to open it in this channel. But you know what? Since I'm really not going to do anything too much, let's go into detail of this Funko Pop. I changed my mind after the video had stopped and decided I might as well show you something from this box. If you're going to watch my videos, might as well give you something. So... 
Let's just take a look really cool. And again, I do not know how to pronounce his name, and I'm really sorry if you do know how to pronounce it. So please let me know again. And here's the Funko Pop. He's really, really cool, and he's very, like, pretty heavy. Let's see if he stands. He does stand on his own, and his head, like any Funko Pop, does move. I really like that. And I really like the tentacles here, or, you know, you want to call them look like octopus and everything. And I love the back. And if you guys know what this is from, please let me know. I have no idea who this is from. And I think this is really good. Um, I think the paint job overall is pretty decent. You know, um, not too many flubs up. Maybe just a little bit brighter on paint would have been cool on this Funko Pop. But I really like this Funko Pop. And I'm glad to add him to my collection. And um, one last thing to let you guys know before I go and everything I want to say is that one thing I really do love love about getting these uh, mystery boxes and stuff like that mainly what I love is that you're getting things that you normally would not get for yourself and that's really I can't express that enough the main reason to get this I think getting any type of box whether it's loot crate my geeky goodies one up box whether it's the new Marvel corpse box now that is international so I'm really excited about that some of my international friends wanted to know could I get them Could they uh, subscribe to this box and you can now so I posted that on my Instagram, and so I just think it's really cool, because I wouldn't normally buy this, but I do think it's a cool pop to have, and I would gladly, gladly take this pop and add it to my collection. I think he's awesome. And the Mystery Minis, I like that too, because sometimes I've gotten throughout my inscription with my geeky goodies a couple of ones that either I like, A, which is really good, or ones that I was on the fence about getting, so I can try them out, see if I like them, and then add more to my collection. So guys, overall, I give my geeky goodies for the month of March two thumbs up, and I would say that the last couple months weren't very good, but, you know, that that's bound to happen with a monthly subscription box. So sorry for I keep repeating myself and rambling on. I know a lot of you told me lately in my videos you like it when I talk and give you detail about things, but I don't want to make this video any longer than it is. So again, please like, subscribe, and comment. Check out my Instagram and social media. And this was the March 2015 My Geeky Goodies box, and I really had a fun time opening this and seeing everything in it. And I really think these dinosaur cards are really, really cool. So... Thank you again and hope you all have a great day. Bye bye.